Hey everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing sort of a different kind of video. I've seen a lot of these videos where like people are given a book and they're blindfolded and they have to figure out which book they are and usually there's another person there with them to like give them the book and you know they have to like guess what book they picked out for them. So because I don't really have any friends to do this with or any like family members to do this with, I figured that I would do it on my own. <laughs> and I just thought it'd be kind of funny to see if I could do any of these kind of challenges on my own without anyone's help and if it would still work in the same way it does with another person. So as you can see, I've taken everything off of my shelf. It's all right here. And my first three shelves are completely bare. So I'm not gonna do the bottom two because it's kind of hard to get my camera all the way down there. So we're just gonna focus on these top three shelves. And then I have this eye mask that I got from an Owl Crate box like year a year ago maybe like almost exactly and that's what I'm going to be using as my blindfold for this challenge so basically what's gonna happen I'm gonna blindfold myself and then I'm going to just like pick random books off the shelf and this we're gonna see if this works okay so I have my eye mask on <laughs> this seems really dumb oh like suddenly I'm just like wow this is kind of a really dumb idea oh well so I'm just going to like pick a random shelf and just like I don't know like I really don't know what order my books are in because they're kind of just in a random order so I'm just gonna pick a random book off the shelf and I think I'm showing it to you guys and I'm just gonna feel it I honestly <laughs> I have no idea what book this is I'm gonna keep it up here just so I don't I'm not even tempted to look at it so as you can see <laughs> I don't know okay <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to take off the dust jacket really quick okay there's nothing on the front and there's writing on the side, but I honestly don't know. I'm going to say that this is Leah on the offbeat. <laughs> okay, so it works, obviously. This is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson, and I got that wrong. So <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to know that this is actually working because I was really worried that this was not gonna work. So I obviously chose completely wrong. <laughs> okay, round two. I'm currently 0 for 1, so I'm hoping that this one will go a little bit better. We're gonna choose a different shelf. So I'm gonna go for my second shelf. And I want to choose maybe this book right here. And I can already tell what book this is because I know the feeling of some of my books, especially my paperback ones, because I'm very picky about paperback feel. And I'm pretty sure this is Found in Night by Ben Alderson. <laughs> See, there we go. Now I'm one for one. It's a little more even of a score now. And yeah, I'm also really surprised that my eye makeup isn't completely ruined. So yeah. Okay, round three. I actually don't know how many rounds of this I'm gonna do. And also it kind of feels really, really weird to just like talk with an eye mask on. It's just, it's not good. Okay, gonna, I'm gonna like not try to like tell heights or anything because I feel like that's kind of cheating. So I'm gonna go kind of low and I'm gonna choose this book right here. I can get it out okay so I know that I have a few books on this shelf and this could be one of two that I have in mind either this is oh, either <laughs> I'm trying to remember any of like the hardcover books that I have on my shelf or the top shelf because that's my favorite shelf so I don't know I wanted to say that it was um brightly burned but I don't think it is I think this is either Stocking Jack the Ripper or Hunting with Dracula. I'm gonna go with Stocking Jack the Ripper. Yay! Because <laughs> I know that I had Bright We Burn right next to it, so I'm just like, I don't know which one is which. But yeah, that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good round. I wasn't totally sure what I was going for, but yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna choose this book right here because I don't really know what this one is. Okay, this is like a glossy hardcover. This... Um, what shelf did I take that from? <laughs> okay, I think I took it from my third shelf. I, I had a feeling that this was a different book than I thought it was. So, um... It's not Let's Talk About Love because that's a glossy paperback, but I mean paperback. Because that's a glossy hardcover, but I don't think that's what this is. Um, To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin. 
Look at that. I can't believe I only missed one of them. That's like so weird. I just got this book too, so I'm really surprised that I knew what it was because I just got it. Okay, um, we're gonna go with this one right here. Just random. Oh, this one's damaged on the back. I can feel it. It's like water damage, if you can hear it. And this is definitely To Kill a Kingdom because I know that I took the dust jacket off and it got water damaged and yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty easy to kill a kingdom, clearly, because the water damaging on the very back. I don't think you can see it at all, but it's there. Oh, right there. See the water damage? Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. I don't even know really how that happened. I think I might have spilled water on it or something. Okay, I am going to pick one from the bottom shelf just for S and Gs. And we're gonna see because I really don't know any of the books that I have on my bottom shelf, so this is gonna be really weird. Okay, okay. Um, I can't tell if this is. Um, <laughs> what's that book called? The one I didn't like. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, um, An Ember in the Ashes, or if it's, huh, what's that? Right, wait. No, it's not. I thought it, at first I thought it was a glittering court, but I'm like, it's not ripped on the bottom, so it can't be. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. It, I think it's a Cassandra Clare book, but I can't remember. City of Ashes, maybe? City of Glass? Oh my god. I literally forgot I even had this book. This is King's Cage. For some reason, I, found, I felt that it was damaged, and I thought that it was City of Glass, or whatever it is. But it's King's Cage, and I got this from the library. Um, it was a library sale book, and it was super damaged, like the cover, and I was really excited because I hadn't read the first book at the time, and I really was hoping I was going to like it, and I didn't really like the first book that much. Um, I may try to finish it at some point, but at least I have the third book in the series, just randomly. <laughs> so I think I'm like, what, three for two? I'm gonna do one more, and I'm gonna do it from that bottom shelf because I feel like that's a little harder because I do tend to know what are on my first three shelves. So we're gonna try to do one more from that bottom shelf, one more. <sighs> this is difficult. I think that this book is either Wither by Lauren De Stefano or it's A Fire and Stars by Audrey Cole Thirst. It's so weird trying to figure out what these books are because it's just like, I don't know. I just, I have no idea. Um, I want to say it's A Fire and Stars by Audrey Cole Thirst. Oh my god, I'm literally, <laughs> this is really bad. See, this is where it gets interesting because I have no idea what's on that bottom shelf. <laughs> so this is The Air by Kira Cass, and I love this series so much. I love the first trilogy. I love the second duology. Oh, these books are great. I just, I love Kira Cass so much, and I just love these books so much, and they're just my faves. And yeah, I can't believe that I didn't even know. And I don't even, I think there's a crown on the front. Yeah, there's a crown on the front, and I just didn't, I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, so I think that's three for three, and this will be the last one, and it's going to be the tiebreaker, whether I win or I lose. I'm gonna do one more from that bottom shelf, because I feel like that's kind of fair, right? It's fair. <sighs> okay, so this is one of the paperbacks that I have on that shelf. That shelf is really not, like, it, it's not, <sighs> that shelf really isn't, <sighs> what am I trying to say? That shelf really isn't organized in any sort of way, so I have no idea, and I haven't really read a lot of those books on that bottom shelf. I mean, I've read some of them, but other ones are, you know. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, this is obviously a new book, I think. Not a new, new book, but it's not one of the ones that I've bought, like, used on Amazon or whatever. So this has to be Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I'm gonna say it's Daughter of Smoking by my Lainey Taylor. Oh my god. I lost my own game. This is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. And I am just like, what? Like, how did I miss this book? How did I, I'm like, 
oh yeah, this is definitely Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Yeah, this is this is Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And I totally forgot that I even had To All the Boys I Love Before on that shelf, so I guess I lose. Also, fun fact, Daughter of Smoke and Bone isn't even on that shelf, so I had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, so that was my video and obviously it kind of did work out in my favor because I didn't end up winning and I clearly have no idea what I have on my bookshelf. So I guess this does work all by yourself if you like have a lot of books and you don't really know where you put them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more of these kind of like duo challenges that where you need two people and I can do them by myself, if you want to see more of that, then let me know, you know, thumbs up this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and follow my Instagram, my Twitter, my Goodreads, I will friend anyone on there. And also don't forget to check out my Latinx book bingo readathon video. That was the last video that I just posted. And there's also a Twitter account for that. So you can follow it there. And I hope you guys join it because it's going to be really fun. It's going from September 15th to October 15th. And I hope you guys will be able to participate in it. All right. So that was the entire video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.